Hi, and welcome to FreshMyEye.com. My name is Eric, and this is part four of our table lamp tutorial. We are ready to start adding some lights. Let's go ahead and put this picture where it belongs. So I got the group selected, modify center pivot. I'm just going to move and rotate this into place. Something about like that. And let's find a render angle that we like. Also, I'm going to smooth preview this lampshade, so just hit number three on my keyboard. View, camera settings over to the resolution gate. That way we can see what's going to show in our render. I'm just going to zoom in here. Just have a little bit of space above my lampshade and a little bit of space below the tabletop. There we go. Something about like that. View bookmarks, edit bookmarks. I'm going to name this render angle one. Close. Let's raise our wall up. Whoops, object mode. I'm going to raise the wall up. And a little bit to the right. So I'll make sure it's our wall is going to be inside of our render view. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to go to File, Save, Scene As. This is going to be underscore four. And we'll call this lighting. This is going to be the longest part of the tutorial. Okay, at least I think it will be. The textures on this lampshade I'm going to make smaller. So just select lampshade, open the attribute editor, look for the shader node up here at the top. So lamp underscore lampshade is what we named it. And right here where the color is, we replaced it with a file. So let's click on that button to the far right. It takes us to our file node. And right up there's our file that we imported. Right above that there's a filter type. I'm going to change that to off. And we'll do that with everything else. So I'm going to select lamp post, attribute editor up here our shader node, color, click on the box at the far right, change the filter type to off. Same thing with the table. Change that to off. By changing that filter off all of our textures are going to come out more crisp and not get blurred any. Uh, that's the glass. So let me open up the outline and select our picture. Shader node, color, there you go, off. All right, let's go back to our lamp shade. Here's our 2D texture node up here at the top. And right there is our repeat UVs. This is going to allow us to change the size of our texture. So I'm going to double these UVs, see what happens. All right, I like that better right there. So we'll keep it like that. I think everything else is fine, at least for my taste. Let's go ahead and do a render. So I go back to our render angle. I'm going to save. Let's go to a render settings and change this to middle ray. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump the quality up from the default draft up to preview. Now if you want to, you can use the IPR rendering and you can see changes quicker, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to do full out uh, renders. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit. Alright, view, bookmarks, edit bookmarks. Render, angle, delete this one. Alright, there we go. Save it again. Let's do a render. All right, just right off the bat, uh, the quality is not high enough to really have our texture. Now, you see how it's kind of looking odd, like there's some artifacts. Uh, when we do a big render, it should clear that off. But if not, we can uh, that filter that we turned off, we can always change that filter type and the value to make that look a little better. All right, the table's a little too glossy. And I might end up making this darker. We'll see what it looks like once we add lights. But I'm going to go ahead and take the glossiness almost completely off on the lamp post. And the table just knock the glossiness down. So you can do it in the hypershade or you can just click on it, open the attribute editor, go to your shader node up there. It's the same, it's kind of the same thing. Our reflectivity, I'm knocking that down to maybe around 0.03. And the table, reflectivity, I'm going to knock it down to say, Maybe about 0.1. Just 
the lamp, or not the lamp, the picture frame. Reflectivity, wow, 0 0.05. I'm going to do about, maybe about one. Do another test render. All right, I like that a lot better. I like that a lot better. So that's good for me right there. So let's go ahead and keep this image, and let's start working on our lights. I'm going to do another save. First light we're going to add is a point light. So let's go to Create, Lights, Point Light. Right off the bat, I'm going to give it a name. All right, we can just name it in our outliner over here. There's our point light. Just double click and name this Lamp Light. And we don't want a white color. It's very uh, very rare that you're going to have a light that's completely, totally white. The sun's not white. Um, um, lights that you would normally put in your house uh, are not white. They're used kind of a yellowish color. Uh, fluorescent lights are pretty close to white. So let's go ahead and make this a more realistic color for our lights. So I'm just going to click on the color over here. I'm going to bring the, the brightness all the way up, the saturation all the way up. And let's change this color to kind of a, I don't know, kind of a orangish color. So maybe not too red, but somewhere kind of in this area over here. So kind of like that, if you look at this sample. And then I'm just going to knock the saturation down about halfway. So something about like that. Might even make it a little bit more orange. I think that's good right there. So I'm going to click accept. As far as intensity, we'll adjust that after we adjust our decay rate. Now, how do we know how to adjust those? We can't see our light. We don't know what it's doing. So there's a little icon up here above your view panel with a light bulb. Or you can just press the number 7 on your keyboard. Just make sure you have your view panel selected. And now we can see exactly what our light is doing. All right, let's select our light over here in the attribute or in the outliner again and now we can adjust our intensity it's not hitting a tabletop so we need to move that light up let's go to a front view use our move tool and I'm just gonna bring that up to the center of our lamp shader our lamp shade now we can see it shining on our top and I'm just gonna adjust this value after we change the decay rate right now there's no decay that means it's the brightness of these rays are going to be the same no matter how far away we are. So what we want to do is change it to something a little more realistic like quadra uh, quadratic or linear. Linear works really good for lamps like this so I'm going to change it linear and now let's start increasing until basically I'm looking at the top of this table right here. So that actually looks pretty good right there. Alright so let's do a render see what we have. All right, looks pretty good. Our wall looks great. I think the bump value on that looks really nice. Uh, the lighting scheme looks really great, um, but we don't have any shadows. So let's keep this image and let's turn on shadows. I'm going to expand this section down here on the shadows. I'm going to scroll down. We're using middle ray, so I'm going to use ray trace shadows. I'm going to turn that on. This light radius, zero is a hard shadow. The higher that number, the softer the shadow. I'm just going to go ahead and just put 0.5. Shadow rays, I'm going to change that to 8. I don't want to go too high until our final render. Let's do a, another render test. You can already see it's got shadows now, but everything else is black up here. What we want is we want a combination of the two. And we're going to do that is by just having two lights. We'll have one that does the shadows and the other one that did before. So let's keep this image here. So we're going to combine both of these right here. So let's close this out, open up our outliner. There's our lamp light. Let's just duplicate that. So control D. We have another one. On this one of these we want the shadow, one of these we don't. So on this bottom one here, let's turn these shadows off. So this first one has shadows, the second one does not. So I'm going to rename these. So lamp light underscore shadow. And this one is just going to be lamp light. Alright, that way I know which one has the shadows. Okay. Everything is twice as bright now. We want to keep that intensity at 10, so I'm going to change both of these intensities to 5. So let's change this one to 5, and let's change the other one to 5. 
Let's do another render. And you can see it's a lot better now. Let's keep that image. If we compare, we've got both of these combined together and we've got a nice, a nice result there. It's a little bit too bright, I think, so I'm going to lower it down just a little bit. So let's lower both of these down to maybe four. Do another test render. From here on out, it's pretty much going to be just tweaking and testing and tweaking and re-rendering until we get it the way we, we want it. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I like that. I want this upper part to be darker, though and this to be brighter. So all I'm going to do is, but I want the overall brightness to stay the same. So right now we've got a total of eight intensity. We've got four on this light and four on this light. So a total of eight. So I want to keep that like that. But the one that's casting shadows, I want that a little brighter. So let's try 4.5. And the other one, let's do 3.5. Do another re-render. All right, so the, the top part of our wall now is, is darker, and it's a little bit brighter down here, but the overall lighting is the same. So let's keep that image, and we can compare the two. All right, but I, I, I like that right there. That's a really nice look there. The front of our lamppost is a little bit dark. The front of this table is a little bit too dark. We can lighten those up, adding a fill light. Our lampshade is looking a little bit too black. We want that to be translucent like it is in real life. So let's work on that. I'm going to select the lampshade. Let's go to our shader node. There's our color. If you go down, you'll see translucence. Right now it's on zero. Let's just go ahead and bump that up to 0.5. You can see now we can see light through it. Let's do a render and see what we have. All right, there's our lampshade. Looks much better. Looks like we've actually got a light in there. We can make it a little more translucent too, so it's a little brighter. So let's keep that image. So you can see what we've done so far. There's our regular render. There's our a spotlight or a, uh, a point light. No shadows, a point light with shadows. There's both the lights together. And then we just kind of worked on the lighting of it and then added some translucency to our lampshade. All right, so let's keep this image. We can make this a little brighter, and this lampshade is looking pretty pathetic. Um, lampshades that I look at, they have like a ribbon at the top and bottom. So instead of create, this is the lighting section. So instead of recreating some geometry, do that. Let's just fake it, and we can fake that using the translucence. 